Okay, we're going to demonstrate how to connect to a GoToWebinar meeting if you have not connected to one of those yet. The first time you do, it asks you to install a little piece of software. So I'm going to demonstrate that. So you'll get an email reminding you or confirming you that you are registered. You click on that and it says, click on this link to join the webinar at the specified time and date. So you click on that link and then it opens up a new window um, from Citrix Corporation and it tells you that it's got to send you a little file named citrixonlinelauncher.exe and on my computer um, downloads show up in the bar at the bottom of my screen so I see that file there and it ends .exe so I'm going to double click it to run it and then it asks me do I really want to run it and then it says, do you really want to run it? Really, really, really? And you say yes. And this installation does not require administrator privileges on most computers that I have talked to people about. So you click yes to run it. And then sometimes you have to tell it once again to launch application. I am going to tell it to remember my choice for all links of this type because there's go to webinar and go to meeting. So you click that and then it does this thing where it's connecting to the webinar, connecting, 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 and then it opens up your actual webinar in a new browser window. And this is basically the screen of the person who's hosting the webinar. And the control panel shows up in the upper right of the screen, something like this. It tells you to join the audio conference. Um, we ask that, and you can click these little messages. We ask that you please call in. Um, I believe the default is that everybody is connected in listen only mode. Um, and if you could call in, then that will help make the webinar faster. We won't have connection speed problems. So there are several things you can do from this window. You can type in a message and send it to everybody or to just a few people in the chat window. We will try to answer your questions that you type in during the webinar. We'll also save it in case we didn't get to your question. So we are sure to answer your questions at some point. Um, and please feel free to interrupt us on the phone call as well. If this is in your way, you can drag it around and you can also minimize it by clicking on this white arrow in the orange rectangle. You can minimize it, it's just that sometimes then it's hard to find. So I usually just use the grabber bar, like all Windows programs or programs that are compatible with Windows, you can move around using the grabber bar. So you'll be able to see what's happening on the webinar host's computer screen and you'll be able to hear once you call in. And I will have the phone number um, and the webinar code given in the invitation also on the screen but they should be the same as you get in the invitation what is shown on screen and then also in this um, control panel towards the side there's the phone number and the access code at the top see you online